Okay, so now what we are going to do is we are we have a process and this is the substrate for that process and we have metal 2 so we will do uh, we will have to do uh, inductor on metal 2 and metal 1 stitched together right using this virtual VR1 okay so let's say if this virtual VR1 was not there and this virtual metal was not there then this would be regarded as a air bridge so there is air here right so this 2.3 micron tall okay there is a air bridge of 2.3 micron tall and metal 2 metal 2 is a 4 micron tall right metal 2 is 4 micron tall and this basically virtual metal is tied to metal 2 using a VR so the overall thickness of the coil the metal for the coil is going to be 2.3 plus 4 so it is 6.3 micron okay so the inductor would be done using this and then you can come out on metal 1 so they would have some standard inductance in the process so let's investigate whether their inductance is as they say okay so what we'll do is let's make a layout okay so we open a layout and let's say I will call this as IND1 Sorry. One. so this is inductor 1 okay usually uh, the grid settings come in the is a part of process and you are not supposed to alter this but if you want to alter the grid settings so you don't see the grid but if you go closer you will see the grid so if you want to alter the grid settings you have to go to preferences and snap grid and here it says that the grid is 0.1 and then the minor grid is is one cell of 0.1 and the major grid is 10, 10 cells so i'm not going to change this okay so now i'm going to take an inductor from from this process itself so this is what this is a square inductor scalable layout and this is a round inductor basically it allows you to do a round inductor correct okay so let's say i want to do if i do a round inductor there will be some fixed sizes i think with too small okay uh, so status pass means whether it is the drc status you can go check don't worry about this. Width is 15 micron. 15 micron. Uh, diameter is 75 micron, and the space between the the the, the coils is 5 micron. Okay. So let's see if I can do a 10 micron spacing. Okay. So let's do a 10 micron spacing, and the status will be plus. So it's working. Width can I do 10 micron? Let's. See. So, a 10 micron width. So, it says air bridge width uh, for 4. So, basically, it violates the air bridge. So, let's see. Let's try do 12. Okay, so 12 passes. Okay. And number of turns. Uh, turn of round in natural. Let's see. Okay. So, when I say apply, so that's what the inductor looks like. I'm going to place it somewhere here. It says two turns is this. If I put one turn and hit apply, so that's one turn, right? So actually, this is one and a half turn, right? So if you say one turn, it is one and a half turn because you are coming on the opposite side. Is there an op option to come on the same side? Uh, port one extended. Yes. Uh, specify okay so there is no way I can come on the one side only okay so I'm coming on two sides coming out on two sides okay so let's say I'm going to do two in turns that's okay so it allows you to do two turns and that's my inductor okay now the thing to note here is the following this inductor is not be flattened okay if you flatten this inductor 
then you will be responsible for DRC. So if you see this white color, white color mask, you see this white color mask, this white color, this white color mask, right? It just says treat whatever inside it as a, as a inductor. So it helps in LVM because what happens is when you do layout versus schematic, you cannot distinguish inductor from a trace. Okay, inductor is same as the trace, right? So to, to make a distinction, this is introduced. So let's flatten this component. Flatten. And flatten one level of hierarchy. Flatten this. Now what I was talking about was this one. This thing is called a mask. It is a, a, a layer which is not going to be fabricated. But this layer is telling that this is an inductor. Otherwise it is just a trace. I'm going to delete this one. Okay, so now this one is telling that there is a span. So a span means it is going to ind indicate that there is a air bridge and there is an underpass. So that's the story. Now what I'll do is on metal zero, so I will go to metal zero. Okay, width is 25 micron, that's fine. Now what I'm going to do here is the following. Okay, so this is rounded corner, so I don't want the round corners. I want truncated corner and I want square turn. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce here something like this. Okay, so now this is roughly I'm putting there, right? Okay, over here. And I'm going to come out on here. So uh, instead of putting a ground ring, I have almost half the ring. Okay. Fine. So here I can basically move it. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll extend this metal out. So this is layer metal one, right? So I'm coming out on metal one. I will draw this here like this and this one. Okay. So, so instead of doing this, I'll do this. Uh, I will first measure from here to here. This is x equal to 15.6. Okay, so I'm going to move this, these corners, edit, move, relative, minus 15.6, minus 15.6. Okay, next, I'm going to do the same on this side, right? Now, this is metal zero. Okay, so I'm coming on metal zero, coming out like this. Okay, so I have a ground continuity. And the reason I have to put this loop is because there is no layer underneath. Because everywhere a metal zero is there along with metal one, right? So then in this case, I can do much, right? So, so here, let's see if I can drag this closer. Fine. Yeah, let's see, I can drag this closer. Fine. Okay, so I have done one arrangement which is like this. Remaining, I'm going to leave as is. Okay. Then I'm going to go here and put pins. Port 1 and port 2. And then I'm going to say this is a ground reference for port 1 and this is a ground reference for port 2. Correct? And then I'll save this and I will say EM. Okay, so I will go here EM setup. Okay. So microwave momentum ports. So I'll go to edit ports and I will say what are the ground references. Correct. So 3 is a ground reference for 1 and 4 is a ground reference for 2. Okay, having done that, let's save, come back to EM, 
and say okay and still i have a okay so open okay now here maybe it is a question of substrate so go here to substrate okay i'm using this so what's the problem here in three is on layer layer name metal zero which is not a planar conductor layer metal zero which is not in planar em layer okay don't worry okay i understood that okay uh, okay so if that is the situation this is metal one in this one metal one drawing this one is metal one drawing. So what is this one? This is via. What is this one? Virtual metal. Uh, yeah, what is this one? Metal two drawing. Metal two drawing and metal one drawing. Let's look at the substrate. This is metal 2 and this is metal 1 drawing. Okay. So, what is saying? This is metal 1 drawing. There is no metal 0. So, basically, this has to come to metal 1. Uh, okay. Now, this will be on metal 1. There is no metal 0. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Metal one. Fine, and this one is metal one. Let's see if this is gone. Warning. Okay, so now the warnings. So this is that. Let's look at the EM part. EM. What is this? This is a substrate. Uh, EM. Okay, so now that warning is gone, right? So now we are okay. So we have ports. Now let's look at the preview. Machine is slow. What? Okay, so right now the inductor looks like this. Okay, so this is what the underpass I was telling you. This is the underpass. Okay, so all the coils and then underneath, so this is metal 2 and I'm coming on metal 1 underneath, right? So everywhere the inductor is on metal 1 and 2, but then here it is only on metal 2 and metal 1 is used as underpass. And this is a ground ring around this for ground continuity, right? Uh, if I was allowed to use metal 0, I would have gone under and done it. So for now, I'm going to just use this. So don't worry about it. And I'm going to hit simulate. Okay, so before that, I'm going to frequency. Let's say we are designing at uh, 5 gigahertz. So I'm going to do a single point. I'm going to do a single point, 5 gigahertz. Output, save currents for all frequencies, options mesh uh, edge mesh transmission line mesh right and then model show model and just hit simulate so meanwhile i am simulating i'll put this on pause 